Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. The World Economic Forum's The Great Reset is the topic at hand. I will transport you to the years 2018 to 2020 to determine whether Ripple was on our side or the other. And I had no intention of making this video today, but I did. You'll understand why in a second. A participant at the World Economic Forum has proposed cutting the global population by 86%. Meadows argues the population reduction plan is possible if we have a really powerful dictatorship that is wise and people have a low level of living. However, liberty and prosperity are two things that are important to us. Since we'll soon be over a billion in number, we must reduce our current population of seven. It would be nice if things could go slowly, or at least not too quickly, and if it could be done in a way that was fairly equal for everyone involved. They want us to just stand by as they wipe out most of humanity. Also, this is just insane. This is what they hypocritically want. Simultaneously, they seek to wipe out a large percentage of humanity. They plan to eliminate them entirely. The elitists, however, were adamant that they should keep living so they might improve their way of living in the long run. The hypocrisy is staggering. The World Economic Forum has called for the use of artificial intelligence to rectify false face and rewrite the Bible. This is the driving force behind why I created this video. They published this piece on a Sunday and then went and said that AI is smarter than God. An official at the World Economic Forum has proposed using AI to rewrite the Bible in order to make it more relevant to people around the world. But that's so what? In the future, AI will be worshipped as if it were a god. And I know God never makes mistakes. And I think at some point he'll step in, and Klaus Schwab and Noah Harari will both have a nice place in hell. What a sick individual he is. He also thinks that humans of the future shouldn't have souls and that they should have been created in a lab rather than born to a human mother. That's why there are so many satanic rituals taking on around the globe right now and it will persist for the foreseeable future. We're talking about 10 months ago now. More proof that Biden is a sock puppet for Soros and the WEF. This is another proof that our tax dollars are being exploited maliciously. Biden awards $172 million contract to group with ties to Soros to aid illegal border crossers in staying in the U.S. The Great Reset includes, among other things, liberalized border policies. If they have their way, in the not-too-distant future, we will all be citizens of the world. The World Health Organization, the Global Citizens Initiative, and the United Nations all contribute to the establishment of a global government. If the United Nations were to replace the flags of all 193 member states with LGBT flags, we would soon have a global citizenry. And as I've mentioned previously, you know, lots of folks are perplexed as to the source of all the awakened activity of late. This is because influential businesses like BlackRock are advocating for the Great Reset. Ford is now advertising the release of the Rainbow Raptor. As evidence, consider what happened to Bud Light. But the people are pushing back. They aren't contributing to the newly advocated for agendas. Similar to how Ford car sales are declining, consumption of Bud Light is also declining. Similar work is being done by other businesses. It's not that they want their group to be involved or even that they want any sort of recognition, though. This cult is making progress, and its actions are linked to the Great Reset. George Soros, a billionaire, makes a decision that could affect the rest of his life. Alexander, age 37, is the favorite opponent of conservatives and fanatics around the world, and he has just taken over the family business. But Soros revealed to the press that he shares similar views with his son. So the anarchy will persist even after George steps down. Crime and looting in all the big cities are orchestrated by Soros-funded extremists. And his son will carry on in his footsteps moving forward. We don't need more fighting in our country, you know. Because, you know, in the end, no matter how trendy you think you are or how much of a trendsetter you think you are, guess what you will get, a slavery system that you will be living under and you will not be out there marching in the streets for this case or that case, 
This country needs to come together like never before and fight back against this. You'll be a useless member of society, stuck in your house with no possessions and nowhere to go but your 15-minute metropolis. That's why I've been harping on the importance of accumulating wealth before it's too late. Once XRP's value really takes off, I plan on leaving the United States since I believe we are headed in a disastrous direction. These five technologies are going to completely alter our society. The World Economic Forum has released this statement. Have you ever pondered the reasons behind Ripple's heavy involvement with the WEF? That's where the bankroll really is, I've always said. On the other hand, the World Economic Forum is betting heavily on Bitcoin firms, since they require their technological expertise to advance the Great Reset. So AI is at the top of the list, and we now know that their ultimate goal is to establish a global Bible and religion. Then there's the metaverse and virtual reality. They are also very invested in this because they plan to establish a global government within the metaverse. Digital identification will soon be required for entry into the metaverse, along with gene editing tools and twisted DNA. Then there's blockchain, and in my opinion, a 15-minute city is impossible without blockchain. The carbon credits that will be used to levy taxes on the Internet of Things in the future can also be stored in a blockchain ledger. That's why the World Economic Forum is associated with some cryptocurrencies based on the ISO standard. They're similar to the favored virtual currencies, but they require investment instead. They are also a component of the fourth industrial revolution, which represents your best opportunity for financial success. That's why, no matter what, I always advise you to keep holding and get rich while you can. There's also nanotechnology. And that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Someone who is impaired can recover their ability to function with this. It might give them a second chance at life, but I fear the World Economic Forum would only put it to bad use. Finally, there's the question of who runs Ripple, the good folks or the bad guys? This is just one person's theory from 2020 based on data from that year. But you do recall the association of Ripple with Snoop Dogg. Both he and Bill Clinton were early proponents of XRP. That's why many people kept calling for Bill Clinton's re-election. The value of XRP would surge dramatically. In the past. I recall that being a topic of conversation, but things eventually shifted. Many people, including those on the Ripple board, have claimed that David Schwartz has resigned. According to the tweet, Joel Katz has resigned from the Ripple board, making room for Ken Kersen to join. In either case, I'm in with Ripple. Moreover, Ken has joined us. It was a bold move, and it demonstrates David Schwartz's dedication to Ripple's success at the time. I don't even know who Ken Kersen is. What a strange coincidence that Mr. Trump and Mr. Kushner count Ken Kersen as a personal friend. Yes. Ken actually worked for Kushner and wrote speeches for Trump. In other words, he is the key piece of evidence. He's our man in the Oval Office. The consensus at the time was that XRP will soon experience meteoric growth. Trump is a big fan of XRP. Perhaps a more pertinent inquiry would be, who is Jared Kushner? If you look closely, you can see him at the Peace for Prosperity workshop with Trump. The next thing you know, he's seated next to Christine Lagarde. He has ties to the Trump administration, but he has never resigned from Ripple or severed relations to the company. But that was far back in 2017 and continued into the foreseeable future, about 2020. Then, almost out of nowhere, the lawsuit against Ripple and XRP arrived. Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC in 2022, destroyed records documenting meetings between Hillary Clinton, George Soros, and Nancy Pelosi. If Clinton had a past association with Ripple, you would assume that linkage persists today, right? So far, it's unclear whether either side is completely sold on Ripple and XRP. The Securities and Exchange Commission also provided a reply to the WEF sadly, they have bought out the US government. Nobody seems to have noticed that the World Economic Forum has already assumed the role of global governance. 
Gary and his team met with Klaus Schwab multiple times. The World Economic Forum is another group that Ripple participates in. Foreseen outcomes range from the destruction of 95% to 99% of crypto firms, according to Brad Garlinghouse. I also recorded a video in which I discuss XRP. That seems likely given the current developments involving Coinbase, Binance, and possibly Ripple. I anticipate that we will be down to a hand and a small number of cryptocurrencies. Verbally intensive. Next, consider this. According to the WEF's LinkedIn page, that means roughly 8 million new bank accounts. They are discussing Pakistan. Since Ripple's technology helps the financially excluded, it is one praise from the World Economic Forum. The equivalent of Stellar and XLM. Because of this, the World Economic Forum has embraced it. But Ripple seems to be in it to win it financially. Furthermore, I believe that Ripple may have connections to both the Republican and Democratic parties. So, what do you think of that? Just drop it in the box below. Since it has been widely reported that the Trump administration is affiliated with Ripple, I though I'd let you know that Bill Clinton, the World Economic Forum, and Ripple Plus are also connected to the company. I am aware that Brad Garlinghouse is a Democrat and a potential donor to Democratic candidates. Is Brad, then, trying to please everyone? This is a really important question, John. However, I am aware of this. The future of cryptocurrency will unquestionably be with Ripple and XRP. Whatever the future holds, whether or not the Great Reset occurs, that technology will be in high demand, guaranteeing further XRP growth. Make as much money as you can while you still can. This concludes my commentary on this topic for this video. I appreciate everyone who is tuned in. I value every single one of you. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.